HTTV in association with Absolute Warehouse Services. Danny, thanks for joining us so soon after today's game against Sheffield Wednesday. Straight after the game, big day for you, I'm sure, but give us your thoughts immediately after the final whistle. Well, I think we're disappointed with the, the outcome, for sure. Um, I enjoyed the game. I think I've learnt lots from the game. Um, and that will certainly help us moving forward. You got a really nice welcome from the town fans uh, before the game. Obviously, then the, the early goal for Sheffield Wednesday rather knocks the stuffing out of the atmosphere a little bit. And it changes the game plan, doesn't it? Because it allows Sheffield Wednesday to get people behind the ball and make it even more difficult for us. Yeah, I think so. I think the, the, the scoreboard is definitely affecting the, the confidence and the belief of not just the players, but, but probably the whole stadium. And that is to be expected after the, the, the difficult run that the, the club has been on. Um, we need to try to build the, the, the players' confidence and belief. The only way we can do that is by being really process-driven, trying to really, uh, really affect the, the players in terms of improving their understanding of the game plan, trying to find a game plan that sets them up for success first and foremost, and then trying to, to develop that understanding so that the players um, are then can almost behave autonomously um, and... and you know, and then once we get to that point, then we can, you know, they will start to find some confidence and some belief. But that is that is a process, and unfortunately, it, it takes time. There's no hiding place from that. I, I wish I had a magic wand. Um, of course, we would have liked to start with a positive result, but we played a very good Sheffield Wednesday team who were. Uh, who on the day deserve deserve to win, and we have to we have to accept that. We have to try to to learn from it, um, and. And then we have to use our learning to, to move us forward into next week. And when you talk about the game plan, you've only had the full squad in the building for one day since you've been here because of the internationals and stuff. You need time on the training pitch to get that plan across to them, do you? I think every, you know it always takes time. And, and I respect that, that none of us have time in this world, particularly in the football industry. But, but no, ultimately, we've got to... Um, We've got to keep trying to understand the players, keep trying to, to understand them as, as people first and then as footballers. Um, and then we've got to keep working towards a game plan. Now, I can only assess the game fairly on the areas that we've, 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 we've worked on during this week because it would be unfair of me to work to, to focus on, on areas that we haven't, we haven't touched upon because that would be unfair criticism of the players. And, and, and here and now, the players need my help, not, their, not, not my criticism. Um, our build-up play was too slow. We didn't play with enough purpose. We didn't play with enough intensity. And we didn't play with enough energy, and that that was disappointing. Um, too often we allowed Sheffield Wednesday to bank up and get 11 people behind the ball, and it's very difficult to defend teams when they get 11 people between the ball and the goal. So we need to try to play with a little bit more purpose, and and you know we always like to get our energy and intensity with our work without the ball. Um, I didn't think we we played with enough aggression. Um, enough aggression in terms of our, our actions and our decision making but we certainly like to press it more aggressively than we did today and sometimes when you get a real aggression in your, and energy in your, in your work without the ball it flows into your work with the ball um, and, and, and that's what we'll be working towards going forward It was notable on the touchline that you and Nicky as well and the rest of the bench got really animated when Lewis O'Brien actually did that a couple of times in the first half you could see that's what you want from your team yeah, absolutely. We want to play on the front foot and we want to play, we want to play fast, attacking football. Um, but we want to play with energy, intensity and purpose. And we know, we know what it means to the people at Huddersfield and they've had a, had a really difficult period and we know that. And, and we, want to, we want to play with heart. We want to play with heart. We want to play with spirit. Um, and we want to play with fight. You know, you have two choices in this world. You're either a victim or a fighter. Um, and and we've, got to, we've got to find some fight because that's the only way we're going to get out of this. We've got to find some, some down-to-earth resilience and grit. And if we can do that, some good old-fashioned grit, we've got some good footballers. Um, but without the determination, the resilience and the grit, it doesn't matter how good a footballer you are, you, you, know, you, won't, you won't get on the right side of competition. I know you're disappointed right in this moment, I'm sure, Danny, but you can already feel you're quite looking forward to watching this back again, learning what you can from it and getting the full week on the training ground. Well, listen, I enjoyed it. I, I knew what I was stepping into. I knew this wasn't going to be easy. Um, I wish I had a magic wand, but I don't. But, but what I do have is a, is a relentless work ethic and, and this football club needs me. It needs, it needs, it needs some fight. Um, and, um, you know, Nicky and I are clear on what, what it takes to win football matches. We're clear on what it needs here at Huddersfield. 
But what we now need to do is try to try to get everybody on board, everybody aligned, everybody thinking the same. Um, have to get the club to stop feeling sorry for itself um, because we can't affect what, what's gone, but what we can do is affect what is coming. And only we as human beings control our destiny and I know where, I know where mine's going. So um, we'll... Uh, We'll learn lots from this, we'll dust ourselves off um, and we'll come back next week and we'll work really hard into, the, into what is a great game against West Brom. Final word, if I may, 